a welcome to your bar class. All you need for this one is just your mat, a chair, some light weights, and when you're ready, let's get into that warm up. Let's go to bring those legs wide, toes are gonna face away from one another, and we're gonna come into a big plie and start to bring those arms up. Uh, it's starting off nice and easy, then take those arms all the way out. Uh, getting a big straighten in between, and hold it down low, reach it side to side. She feels so good through that waist. Keep it pulsing through those legs. Let's bring one arm up, one heel, maybe sticking down a little bit lower. Beautiful other arm, other heel, keep it pulsing. Beautiful that go bring both arms, both heels up, finding a moment at the top to balance for two and hold. Yes, heels together, toes apart. Let's press those arms out and then bring them up. <sighs> Starting to get into that breath. Yes, let's go to hold it back down low. Once again, find that stretch through the waist, through the arms, even through those fingertips. Now let's bring one arm, one heel. Sink down a little bit lower. Good, other arm, other heel. And let's bring both arms, both heels to a lift. And pressing away from the floor as we come on up. On this last one, hold it up and bring those legs wide. Push those arms front. Feeling some resistance here. Let's go ahead and take you to the side. Reaching through the waist, arm goes up and down. Other side, bring it up, press it forward. And now both arms, let's find that roll. And then the bend and straighten through the legs. Pressing all the way out. And then go come on down from one leg, then to the other. In that lunge position. Let's tap one arm down. Find that rotation to the upper body. Really starting to open up here. Then bring that back arm all the way up. And hold it down low. Find a stretch over to one leg. And then find that stretch over the other leg. Bring your hands back to the center. Bend those knees. Slow roll to lift. That's the very last thing to lift. And find a lunge. Tapping the elbow to the knee. Find that crunch. Good. Then twist. Bring those legs wide. Reach it side to side. Stretch it out. Let it go. Beautiful. Other side. Find that tap and the crunch. Uh, then twist it out. Find that rotation to the upper body. And bring those legs wide. Reach it out. And to finish, let it go. Shake it out at the top. Go four more. Beautiful. Now bring both arms up and then shake it all the way out. All right. So good. Grab those weights if you have them. If you don't, no worries. You're still going to feel those arms. And let's get into it. Elbows are going to be bent. Palms up. Legs slightly apart here. Bend those knees. Those arms are going to come all the way in to the sides of your waist. And then reach those arms out on more of a diagonal. Here we go. Press it in and out. Hold those elbows to that slight bent position. Rock it out. Shake it out through those hips. Now hold it out and reach, reach, press away, find that full stretch through the arms. Good, bring those feet together, palms go down, wrap those arms slightly out, keep a small range of motion. Good, then go bring those legs wide, slow it down, lift and press, lift, press, hold it all the way up, slight bend, push it away. Go double time, take it out for four. Three, two, back from the top. Palms go up, elbows bend, shake it out through the hips, let it go. Now hold those arms out, keep it a little bit bigger through the arms on the reach out and then a little bit smaller on the way in. Yes, now palms face down and wrap those arms out and in. Keep those shoulders pulling down your back for four, three, two, slow it down. It's that lift, press, lift, press. Good, now hold it up, slight bend, pump it away. Try those arms all the way out. Go for four, three, two, now hold it here. Pumps go up, bend down, rock it out through those hips. Go four, three, two, one, wrap it back. Start to open up through that chest, pull those shoulder blades together. Let's keep it going. Pumps go up, then down. Now those arms are all the way out to the side. Get that full reach. Beautiful, now hold those palms down, wrap it back, back, back. Open on up here, four, three, two, one. Now bring those feet slightly in, bring that chest forward. Pull those arms back and front. 
Good. Get that exhale as those elbows pull up towards the ceiling for two. Beautiful. Hold it back. Fingertips down and press. Press. Shoulder blades together. Elbows to the ceiling. Two. Three. Now extend those arms all the way out. Lower and lifting them just to shoulder height. Two. Three. Come on up. Now press it back. Back. Press. Press. For four. Three. Two. Once again, bring that chest forward. Pull those arms front and back. Really waking up those upper back muscles, getting a little bit stronger there. Hold, fingertips down, elbows up. And lift, lift, lift. You're even opening up through that chest, right? Go for four, three, two. Now extend that chest all the way forward. Arms go out, then lower and lift. Starting to tighten up through that center as those arms move. Keeping that chin off the chest. Go now, hold it up and press. Press, keep those arms away, off those hips for four, three, two, and we're full set. Take it front, pull it back. Getting that full reach in between. And now hold up, fingertips down, elbows to the ceiling, pull it back. Breathe it out. Engage that center. Now kick those arms all the way down, then up. Woo. You got it here for four, three, two. Now come up. Press it away, almost like you're pushing away a 10 pound bar with those arms. That's the kind of work you want to feel here. Now palms rotate in, then up. Get a little rotation here for four, three, two. Now bring it forward, one arm at a time. It's going to lift, lift, four, three, two. Once again, palms go up, then in. Press, press, four, Three, two, bring it forward and lift. Lift from those palms in one arm at a time, walking up to the ceiling. Beautiful, now hold here, slide out and press. Press, press, lift it up, shake it out, go four, three, we made it, bring it up and shake it on out, let it go. All right, so good. Ooh, we definitely got those arms, let them go off to the side. We don't need them anymore. But we are gonna stay in the center, just stretched out. So bring one arm over. Bring the other arm over. Shake it on out one more time. Now let's go to grab that chair and let's get those legs. So just yourself, something to hold on to. That I promise you that is literally all you need here. And we're gonna start in a turned out position. We're gonna come back into that curtsy, maybe bring both hands together and start to pulse. Now, if you can, you wanna keep your focus on that supporting side staying really low. Almost imagine those you're just pressing down, you're not even lifting at all, but that chest is gonna stay upright. It's gonna stay really tall. Go for eight and notice how that focus, that slight shift and where our mind is at really changes how we're feeling it. I promise you that also means it's changing how we're working. We're working a little bit deeper. This work for you is to be more effective if you can stay in this present moment. Now you're gonna lower for two and lift. Now notice that supporting knees can stay slightly bent even all the way up. We're starting to switch up that range of motion, making it a little bit bigger. Go for two. Beautiful, now hold, now full range of motion, string that's supporting leg all the way up, then pressing it all the way down. Good, so I do want you to get that full lift in between. I want you to think about pressing that knee all the way up to the top of your hip. So you're not locking that knee back and sticking out your seat and putting tension in your lower back. Instead, we're feeling it in that supporting seat. We're feeling it in that core. And let's take it back from the top and pulse. And where's that focus at? On the supporting leg, really staying low. Good, now go ahead, start to make it a little bit bigger here. But remember that supporting knee doesn't get to rest quite yet. It's still staying bent. Two more. Yes, now from here, that supporting leg gets to straighten, but it's an active straighten. So that top of that knee is lifting up to her hip. Good. Go two more, feeling that seat fire up. And now hold down low, both hands together, pulse, pulse, pulse. The smaller, the lower, the better. Yes, let's go to add those arms, sink it down, slight lift. <sighs> Breathing it out. Oh, now hold it low. And then lift and press, lift and press. Woo. 
you're at this for two and now from here hold it down low you're gonna bring your hands together pulse it down now is the time if you want to take a moment to stretch out if you're going for that full challenge with me you're gonna stay here as we transition into that next exercise that's gonna be for those glutes otherwise stay here with me if you're looking for that full challenge take those arms out Breathe it out through the mouth for four, three, two. Now that back knee is going to lift off the floor. The knee is going to stay bent and turned out on both sides. And all we're going to do is just squeeze that seat. Think about that supporting hip, the top of your hip, still lifting up towards your shoulder. And we're engaging through those glutes to press back. Breathe it out for four, three, two. Now from here, we're going to drop it to your elbow. Bring the leg to the side, then lift it back up and pulse it behind. Take it to the side for two, back and squeeze. Reach it out and lift. Two more, now modify that leg is staying low. Really important here just to get the shape of that leg. Correct, it turns out and then it comes parallel. Now hold it here, small bend to line the knee with the top of our thigh. Kick it out, out. Notice how, what a difference that is, is to post that knee was down or up, right? You're keeping it in line with your thigh so you can get the most out of this exercise. Now you're gonna bend that leg, and now we're focusing the side of that seat. It's like we're pressing that seat down as that leg lifts, start to flex. Keep it pulsing, but reach that leg all the way out, pressing to the heel for four, three, two, and one. Come on up, press that leg back. Work from those glutes. Breathe it out. Go for four, for three, feeling tall, and let's combine that, pressing it to the elbow and then lifting back up and pulsing it behind. So as you come up right, don't forget to give that like an extra little press back. So two more. Last one. Now let's hold it over, both hips forward, but chest is open, bend, then kick. Breathe it out. Yes, now bend that leg in and little press. Side seat is pushing down against that lifted leg and start to flex that foot. And extend that leg all the way out. Fire for the back of side of that leg here as well. You get this whole thing from the top. Press it back. Fire up through those glutes. Ooh, stay tall. Keep lifting out of those hips. Top of your hip bones drawing up to our shoulders. Beautiful, now let's go and press it to the side. Then bring it back and squeeze that seat. Reach the side, lift and squeeze. Good, now I'm just gonna hold it to the side, hold it onto that elbow, small bend and kick. Kick, reach it out. Ooh, go for four, three, two, we're almost there. Find that full bend position and just lift. Open back up. Now is a great time to check back in with that low back. How is it feeling if you need that modified version again? No worries, come on up. You're still gonna build up that strength just without having to overdo it. Go for four, three, we made it. Come on up, find that big stretch up and over to the bar. Then take it all the way forward. Give your head a little shake from side to side. No tension there. Knee soft and roll it on up. All right, so good. So we are switching up the format. We're gonna continue to switch up the format and we're gonna come all the way down on the mat. So we're gonna get into that core before we go to the other side. Don't worry, we'll still get that other side. I'm gonna make sure you guys are even. But let's come on down here for a moment, switch gears, get into those abs, just yourself, your mat. Let's do this. We're gonna reach our outside arm all the way down onto the mat. Feet slightly behind, or slightly open, opposite hand behind our head. We're gonna bring that opposite shoulder so it's gonna lift off the mat. That outside shoulder is gonna stay down the mat, and that's what's gonna allow us to get into those obliques. Let's go. Breathing it out. Yes, wrapping in through that waist. As we lift, go two more. Oh, now as we rotate, let's pull one leg in and then press it away, exhaling out. Stopping that knee just over that hip for four. Go three, go two. Now it's just the upper body that it's gonna move up towards that leg. Navel's pulling down. Go four. Three, two, now both elbows in. And from here, you're gonna move the legs and the elbows, but still try to keep that work coming from that center. Knee will dropping into the mat. So much so that maybe that seat even comes to hover for four. 
for three. Go two. And one. Now, other side. Other arm's going to come down onto the mat, and we're going to twist towards that extended arm. So, you can bring that opposite shoulder off the mat while keeping the extended shoulder down on the mat. Really pressing that palm into the mat, feeling that resistance. That's what's awesome. It's going to help you to get a little deeper in that center. Now, go ahead and pull that leg up to tabletop. Connect. Reach. Press. Reach. Exhale. Go four more. Now, again, it's just the upper body that's going to move. So really pressing into that core to lift the chest up. Yeah, it's not going to come onto the center. Bring both legs up. Elbows, legs, both are going to move to the center. We're controlling it from that core. So maybe that seat comes to a hover. Go four, three, two. And from here, we're going to reach and reach and reach bringing one arm down and one arm across keep it slow for four go three go two go one hold it across and just reach reach other side same thing remember modified here can always keep your hand behind your head for four three two one elbows in legs in and press Press. Try to keep those shins in line with those knees. Beautiful. From here, we're going to open those elbows, bring those legs up, and then wrap it in. Lift and wrap. Breathe it out. Yes. Oh, now you're going to hold it on up. You can bring those arms up if that feels okay for your neck. If not, totally fine to keep them behind your head. Let's go for eight. Keep dropping the navel down to the mat for four, three, we made it. Oh my gosh, it's just so good. Bring those legs to that comfortable place. They can be crossed or open. Whatever feels best for you and circle it out. Let it go. Same thing other side. Take it around the other way. And let's lift. Let's rotate. Same the other side. Lift, rotate. And then shake it on out. All right, let's come back up to standing. Grab that chair. Let's get that other side for those legs and those glutes. So come on up. Take your time. Stretching out a little more, of course, if you need. But if you're going for that full challenge, we're going to get right into it. Bringing those heels together, toes apart. And then from there, you're going to take your outside leg to the back, keeping that heel off the mat. We're going to bend both legs. Take those hands to the center. Here we go, back in those legs, pulse. All right, so we're just getting everything. We're gonna make sure no muscles left behind and that everything is even and equal. So here we are on that other side for those legs to start. In your mind, you're focusing on that supporting side, staying really low. Press while that chest stays up, crown of your head stays up for four, three, two. Now we're gonna start to make it a little bit bigger, lower, slight lift. It might be tough to see, but my support knee is still staying bent on this round. Breathe it out for four. Go three. Go two. Yes, beautiful. Now hold it down low and pulse it out. Yes, really burn it out. Now a hand on the bar. Let's lift it up, then down. Supporting leg is going to lift, lift, lift on the way up. It's like that knee is drawing all the way up to the top of your hip. So you're even going to feel that core engage for two. Yeah, so from the top, pulse it down. Pulse, pulse. Slower, the lower, the better. Go for eight, seven, woo -hoo. burn it out for four, three, two, make it a little bit bigger, lower, lower, slight lift, lower, lower, slight lift for two, and hold. Now right away here, let's bring it up and then press. Now that leg, notice it's parallel, and then it turns out. Lift and press. Go two more. And then press it back down low. Keep that chest up and pulse. Pulse, coming back into your center, into that breath. Exhale it out. Wow, I feel it. Let's go take it down for two. And slight lift, press. Slight lift for two. And hold. Yes, now come on up and press. Lift. 
two more. Oh, and now hold it low, bring those hands back together. So now's the time if you need to take yourself into a stretching position, shake it out and then get back into it. Or for the full challenge, you're gonna stay with me as we transition to that next set for those glutes. Bring those arms up, maybe sink down, sinking down a little bit lower, just pulse, pulse. For four, three, two, keep those knees bent and turned out. Back leg just comes to a hover. We're gonna squeeze that seat to move that leg back. Almost as though that heel is pressing towards the opposite shoulder. If you can feel that opposite heel, opposite shoulder connection, it's gonna really help you in terms of it's gonna fire up those glutes all on their own. So you won't have to do any extra work. So of course to stay lifted and keep that core engaged and keep breathing, just a couple things. <laughs> now from here, drop it to your elbow, bring that leg parallel and then pulse. Reach and lift, reach and lift. Now hold to the side, bend that leg and kick again. Check it out for yourself. Make sure that knee's in line with the top of your thigh and then bring the leg all the way in. Now here you're thinking that the side is really pushing down as that leg lifts and then flex that foot. Beautiful, keep it flexed, keep it pulsing, just start to extend that leg out and ooh, feel more of a reach through that leg for four, for three, go two, and take it back to the top. Stay lifted. Now's a really great time to feel tall, to practice that posture, work from that seat. Two more, two, and let's go and drop it back to that elbow. Bring the leg to the side, lift and press. Really reaching that heel towards the opposite shoulder. Go two more. And now hold it over. Yes, from here, bend that leg and press. Modified here, you're staying upright and that leg is staying low. Shoulders should stay right over those hips. Or you're over, but even here, the supporting side is still lifted, shoulders still dropped. And pulse, lift. Notice how those inner thighs are fired up here as well because we're holding on to that position. Knee line at the top of that leg, hips forward. Leg really parallel, press all the way out. Woo. Go two more, two. And go ahead, come on back up. Bend down low through the legs, lift up tall, the crown of that head, squeeze that seat. Go four, three, two, and go and get that angle parallel, then turn it out. So you can just see it here, right? Getting all angles of that leg, even inner, outer thighs, with a focus on those glutes. Upper, middle, lower seat, and that side seat. Good, on this last one, let's hold it all the way over. Small bend and press, press. Those shoulder blades squeezing together for two, and then bend that leg in. Find that resistance at the top of that seat, pushing down against that lifted leg. Now flex, and reach the leg all the way out. Woo. Last four, three, two, we made it, feet together, up and over, big stretch. Take it all the way forward, hands down. You can give your head a little shake from side to side so you know there's no tension there. Then come on up, oh my gosh, amazing. Get rid of that bar, we do not need it. And meet me all the way down. We're gonna come on down at the side of your hips. So if you need to, maybe even putting something comfortable underneath the side of your hip. And let's get into that bonus round. So just in case we miss something, we are gonna get it here. Come on down on that elbow, modified all the way down, head into your hand or even head into your arm. Either way, we're gonna start to lift this leg up and lift, lift, basically right where we left off for eight. Seven, now that supporting side, just like before, is still lifted, shoulder dropped away from your ears, side of your waist pressing away from the mat. Now find that circle, <sighs> breathe it out. Pressing that knee forward up and around, but we're gonna keep the shape of the leg the same even as it lifts and presses back. Oh, now hold it to a hover, let's switch it up. You're gonna press that leg back as you do, that upper body is gonna rotate down and then press forward as you lift for four. Go three, go two, and last one. Now hold it back, squeeze that seat to really push that leg back. So from that seat, press back. Less from the thigh, more from the glutes for four. Three, two, find that circle back up and around. Getting a little bit of a lift in between. Ooh, beautiful, two more. 
and then hold that leg back and a little lift from here. Press up, up again, still just from that seat, you're gonna keep it pressing. Now open up that chest, bring that leg back to a hover. Little lift, 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 holding onto that center. And let's reverse that circle, pressing it back up and around. Maintaining the shape of the leg the same all the way through. Yes, now we're gonna press it back and then center. Press it back and center. Again, if you get that heel connection towards the opposite shoulder, that pretty much is gonna do the work for you in terms of firing up those glutes. Two more. And now hold this leg back. Press from there, from the seat. Squeeze, squeeze, four, three. Now let's press it all the way back up and around. Back up and around. Gain a little lift in between. Yes, now hold this leg back and a little lift. Lift, modified, you're gonna stay right here. For more of a challenge, you're gonna come all the way around onto your knee, onto your elbow. Now I want you to think about pressing down that outside hand and then flexing that heel. So the heel pushes up as that hand pushes down. Feel that opposition. Woo. Go for four, three, two. From here, you're gonna press it back and up. Rotate and lift. Rotate and lift and pulse from there. Coming all the way up to both hands. Ribs, abs in, modified. You can always stay down onto both hands. Let's go eight more. Woo, knee down, heel up, really getting that parallel position. Yes, from here, you're gonna rotate and lift. Rotate and lift. Good, now hold it here. Let's flex, then point. Flex, point, four, Three, we did it, yes. Oh my gosh, so good, toes together, knees apart. Find that stretch, roll it on up, shake it on out, oh my gosh, so good. Okay, we have got the same the other side. Breathe, come on around. Taking those extra stretches if you need it or coming with me onto the other side for that full challenge. Chest is gonna be open, legs stacked, then bring it up, start to lift. And for more of attention, more attention to the side that's so you can always place that hand on the top of your seat. Also a little more awareness if you're unsure about what's going on here. Placing your hand on your hip is a great way to kind of guide you along for the ride. Two, three, now let's circle this leg forward, up and around. Holding on to that core, so as that leg moves, those hips aren't gonna move. Getting a little lift in between. Go two more, and then from here, we're gonna press this leg back, then center. So chest rotates forward, and center. Press, center. Two more. Pass, now hold that chest forward, hold that leg back, and press. Press. Woo. Now find that circle, circle back up and around. Yes, keeping those shoulders down your back. From here, you're gonna lift it like up, but you can still firm those glutes. Keeping that work controlled. And start to bring that leg back to the side, open up through that chest. Get more guidance or to get in a little bit deeper, bring your hand on your hip for four, three, Two, you will reverse the circle back up and around. Hand is on that hip just to make sure those hips don't move as that leg moves. Get into that isolation. Beautiful, from here, let's press this leg back. Upper body's gonna press forward. And then it's gonna open up as that leg comes to a hover. Go two more. For two. Yes, now hold this leg back. Bring that heel over, squeeze that seat. Now reverse that circle, taking it forward, up, and around. Two more. Beautiful. Now hold this leg back, squeeze that seat. Think about connecting into that core as well. Yes, fire up through that center. And then from here, for more of a challenge, you can drop it onto your knee, onto your elbow. Outside hand really pushing down into the mat. And then you're going to flex that foot. So as that heel is pushing up, that outside hand is pushing down. Wow, it's gonna really get you right into those low glutes, ribs, abs in. Pressing away for four, three, two. From here, we're gonna rotate and then bring it parallel and pulse. Rotate and lift. Rotate and lift. Go two more. 
Yes, now hold it up and pulse. Coming up to both hands for more of a challenge. Lift, lift, knee down, heel up, ribs up, in, press. From there, oh, we're really getting to those glutes now, right? <laughs> Beautiful. From here, get that rotation and lift. Yes, this outside hip is going to open up to create space for that leg. As long as you're staying connected to that core, it's totally fine to do for two. Now hold it to that parallel position and pulse from there. Maybe even taking that opposite hand to your arm if you want more of a challenge on the side. You're going to point, flex, point, flex. Go for four, three, we. Made it, whoa, so good. Toes together, knees apart, find that stretch. And then roll it on up to a kneeling position. Stay with me for a little cool down today. Bring those hips forward and drop it down. Totally fine to hold on to something or to go a little deeper, maybe bringing those arms up or even finding more of an arch to that back. Then you're gonna exhale deeper into a twist. Inhale to the center. Exhale the twist. Inhale up. Exhale twist. Inhale up. And exhale. Find that hamstring stretch. Flex that foot. Drop down into it. Surrender into it. Inhaling. And exhaling. And then meet me to the center. Go ahead. Bring both arms out. The legs slowly part up and over to one side. And up and over the other side. And then shake it on out. Same thing, other leg is gonna come front. Find that kneeling position, knee over the center of your foot. And then travel those hips forward and down. Again, modified here, holding onto something or more of a challenge, bringing those arms up. So great to finish some balance. Try not to push away from these feelings of stretching your whole body. Try to surrender to that stretching feeling. Now inhale, hold. And as you exhale, you're gonna rotate, keeping your knee over the center of your foot. Inhale, lift, exhale, twist. Inhale, lift, exhale, twist. Inhale, hold, and then exhale, press it back into a hamstring stretch and deeply breathing into those legs, those hamstrings. And then go ahead, take this leg all the way around to the back, flex both feet. We're gonna inhale, looking up to the ceiling. Exhale, C curve. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, C curve, and then find that neutral position and then bring those knees up, bring those hips up and back. Find that down dog stretch, bending one knee, then the other. Beautiful, then bend both knees back down. Bring those legs around to a comfortable place. They can be cross or open, whatever feels better and circle it around. Woo. And then reverse it. Good, and bring those hands together, shoulders lift and drop two more times. And close those eyes, inhale, and exhale. Hands over your heart, inhale, and exhale. And now inhale, bring those arms up, and exhale, shake it on out. You made it, give yourself a big round of applause. You should feel so good, you finished, you made it through. Give yourself um, yeah, a pat on the back here, and give this a like, subscribe to your friends, share it, and I'll see you next time.